Okay. Puzzle first, then token. The lodge members practically worship the hidden people. Clearing the ice, the security cameras at the Scoggins ice ring lost their timestamps. Figure out the proper order of these photos. Easy. This one's first, obviously, no one to stop the ice so far. Then comes this one, and he is cleaning. So, next up... Um, this one... He's making a fresh one over here. So, this one is next. Then comes... Oh, wait, this one could also be... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, this is actually much trickier than I thought. Okay, no, this... This angle should be this one. So, in this order. This is the last one, let's ignore it. Um, yeah, he's, he's going like this. He's clearing it. She's creating a new one. He's clearing it. Alright, this guy is, is really busy. <laughs> he's just going after people. Improving our rating just a little bit after those disastrous two puzzles. Now let's talk to Bjorn. Enough's enough, Bjorn. I demand that you answer my questions. <laughs> Angry whispers. <laughs> Brotherhood is broken. <laughs> no, no. Can't lose small men. Hmm. He's not being evasive. He he's gone insane. Beyond Sanity. Help Nelson regain Beyond Sanity by shining the light of reason to the core of his brain. Let's see how we do that. This is a synapse. This is Sanity. And this is the core. Okay. Avoid the green synapses at all costs for some reason. Arrange the mirrors so that the light of reason hits all L-shaped pieces of Sanity, these ones, before finally reaching the blue core, this one, of Beyond's brain. Light entering a piece of sanity will direct the light by 90 degrees, as it is shown here. Okay, so the light is coming from over here, and we have these mirrors that we, I guess, can't turn around, so they are fixed. Um, so let's put it up into this one, going over there, down here, not we, we are not supposed to hit the... Wait. What the rules? I want to arrange the mirrors. Do I have to use all the mirrors? Well, like this, it goes up, zip, down, zip, center. Right? Sounds simple enough. Before you hit submit, visualize how the light will go. Remember to hit all the pink pi- I have to hit all the pink pieces? What? What? Where, where are my rules? So that the light of it hits all- Oh yeah, it says right here. <laughs> Sorry guys! I told you I'm stupid. Hits all the L-shaped pieces. Yeah, okay. I was, I was thinking that's way too easy for some reason. Okay, so we are going up here, down here, over here. So we have that, that. Then we need to go down here, zip, over here, it goes over here, and then we have all the pink shaped pieces, like this. Whoopsie daisy, didn't read the instructions properly. Ah, that's still, that's still excellent actually. Didn't use any hints, which is much worse than making a wrong decision. Thank you, Agent Tethers. You're going to have to explain what's going on. 
I will try. I know you're behind all of the missing person cases in Scoggins. N that's not true. Then why did I see your man Edvard in the woods last night? He was searching for Shilder. The other cult, uh, member of the Brotherhood? Yeah. He went to commune with the hidden people. Never returned. Now he is lost. Why were you trying to keep me from finding Isaac Davner? He was chosen. The hidden people whispered to him. He had to listen. Where is he now? He is lost, like the others. The hidden people are angered. How do you talk to the hidden people? I do not. They choose. I have never seen them. What? Well, if you're not behind the disappearances, who is? I do not know. You must find them, Agent Tethers. Bring them home, all of them. Shielder, Edvard, Isaac, Olaf. I'll do what I can. Who's Olaf? Olaf Velhaven. The first man lost to the forest many years ago. Where was he seen last? In his cabin in Sesame Woods. Bjorn insists the Brotherhood isn't behind the disappearances. For some reason, I believe him. I'm relieved they're not trying to kill me, but that only leaves me with one theory. Isaac Davner really is a serial murderer. Bjorn's pointed out the cabin of Olaf Velhoven on my map. Maybe I'll find some leads there. Really, that is not the only possible option. Please stop jumping to conclu conclusions like that, Tethers. Right. Mm. Oh, hello. Let's go. Olaf's cabin, yes. Right, this looks crooked. Oh. Olaf's cabin. Nelson needs to get into Olaf's cabin, but the door is sealed. With only one cut. Oh, again, sever all of the barricades. Okay. This time I know about it. Well, there are no chains this time. Okay. Um, let's find the smallest one, I guess, the, this one. So, this probably not, but this, this, or this one might work. Preferably one of these two, so that we can cut these as well. Like this, 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 this. Yeah, should be it. The lock on Olaf's cabin was a little tricky. Who or what was he trying to keep out? The cabin seems untouched. I must be the first person here in years. Apparently, Olaf Velhaven had an interest in astronomy. There's got to be something in his journals or equipment that gives a clue to his disappearance. Did you see that when the camera was just hovering to the side? Um, it, it looked like it's actually in 3D. But yeah, that, that's maybe that was just me. Okay, we can we can look at a lot of stuff here. It's focused on the moon, just like Olaf was. 
Looks like Olav was a fan of Galileo. This looks like some kind of mathematical formula? Oh no. Lunacy algorithm. Can you figure out the algorithm Olaf created? Arrange the mathematical elements in proper order? What's the proper order for mathematical elements? Oh, come on. <laughs> um, okay, what can I... I can move everything around. No, not this. And not this. Okay, I can move this. Nope! What? That's no good. Oh. There's just not enough information here to solve this one yet. Okay, okay. Uh, let's have a look at this. How could one man possibly need this many socks? You can never have too many socks, you know. So you can throw away the ones with holes. I wonder if Olaf moved to the wilderness to better see the stars. Round the cosmos. Click the center of the circles to rotate them. Arrange the obje objects so that the suns are on the left. Suns on the left. The Earths, Earths uh, plural, are on the right. And the moons are where the circles overlap. Oh, wait. Suns are on the left. Moons should be here. Okay, that should be it. Why would an astronomer come to Scoggins to do his research? Hmm. Okay, was that it? No, I don't know. This is odd. Why would an astronomer be studying psychology? Let's see. Earth, Sun, and Moon. Move the celestial bodies, that means the stars and stuff and planets, to their proper position in the cosmos. The larger asteroid is in the way, but can end up anywhere. Huh? What? Huh? What? Large asteroid. This one is in the way, but can end up anywhere. Okay. Oh, okay, so the proper position is here. Uh, okay, can I move these? No. Where does the sun go? Oh, down there. Okay, uh, I can't move it. Through here, can I move the moon? Nope. Uh, okay. It's all quite in the way, actually. Can't do that. Wait. Okay, go down, go down here. Okay, then you go up here. There we go. Stupid asteroid. Go out of my way. There. Okay. Now the sun needs to... The sun ne Damn it. Can I... Okay, asteroid is out of the way for now. Moon, get to the side. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Almost like this. The Earth is in the in the proper space, but nothing else is. Uh, I need to move the earth over. Okay, I can't even do it there. Um, no, that doesn't work. Okay. 
Okay, like this. Come on. Ah! Why is this so hard to, to move these bloody pieces? 